how's it going? And today we're going to be exploring this M26 missile. It's a really cool, one of the cooler Niagara effects I've seen and that's what got me interested in looking at it. And it's a free asset available from the marketplace. So I'm going to walk you through some gotchas in getting this set up, the showcase missile, and then I'll be doing some more tutorials later on other aspects of this and how it can be used. But the first thing I wanted to just show you is kind of where I'm at with it is if I hit play, and then we can start at the engine and then it goes off, it takes off like that. It's pretty cool. So anyway, to get started on this, this won't take too long. So the first thing you gotta do is you gotta go into the Epic Marketplace and search for, I found out, I didn't realize this, it had been developed as part of a mega grant, so Epic Mega Grant. So here it is right here. Downloaded, it's free. It's from Vigilante. I'm surprised it doesn't have more reviews because it's pretty cool. But anyway, once you got it downloaded, then you go into your library. The only downside, there's a little bit of a downside, is you need engine 4.27. You're going to have to download this engine if you don't have that engine downloaded. So that takes some time. So unfortunately, this isn't something you're going to be able to do like in five minutes. You're going to have to download that engine. Then once you've got that engine downloaded, then you're going to create a blank project. So we're going to go ahead and launch here. I'm just going to walk you through all the steps so you know you can get this working. It, it's a good feeling once you get it working, actually. <laughs> I feel like I kind of hacked it a little bit, but you can learn a lot from studying this one particular asset in detail especially the Niagara effect. What you do is go into games and you want a next and then you, it's so weird looking at this interface compared to 5.1 this looks so cartoonish almost so but the one you want here is you want a blank one don't get the first person or third person and then we can keep going I'll give it a name so I don't get confused M4 and we'll create this project so it'll just take a second so what you're going to want to do then is you're going to download, get the asset from the marketplace, make sure you have Unreal Engine 4.27, open this project up, and make sure you have a blank project just like this. And then what you're going to do is, keep. it obviously has some VR stuff enabled in here, so you might want to disable that because that gets kind of annoying. Once you have your marketplace asset downloaded, you go into your library, and then you'll go to the M26, and we'll go add to project and then there's the M4 right there and we'll go add to project and that just takes a minute and now we can jump back in here I have another asset open I'm going to close that then it comes in you'll get this folder here and this is where we're going to go through this is the main part of this and hopefully this won't take too long okay so this is where we are so now we've got our projectile and there's one that's called M26 the BP West missile M26, that's just a dead missile. And this is the showcase, and this is the one that we're going to be messing around with. So you just drag that onto your floor there. And then what I would do here is I just, you can just reset those all to zero. And then I'm just bringing it up on the Z. So it, it's just off the floor there. And we got that set. If we hit play, of course, nothing happens. And you'll notice that it jumped us into the player start view, which is fine. But let's just go to player start and just back up a little bit here. And if we hit play again, now we have a little bit better view. So it's being controlled mostly by the player start right now. So now we want to add the effect. So what we have to do is come here to the missile and if you'll notice, you'll come down here, it's got some instance editable things here. And one is the speed, and we can slow it down right here. But then you'll see it's looking for a, it wants the spline reference. We don't have a spline, so we've got to go get one here. So we go back into our Vigilante content, shared, blueprints, showcase, component, <laughs> and spline and we can drag this onto the scene. This is actually good practice for splines if you're not familiar with splines, and I'm honestly not that familiar with them myself. 
They're a little tricky to get used to, and they're good to practice with. They are very useful in Unreal Engine, so I have to practice with them myself. But it's just learning how to build them. So if we, you have to be careful that you don't duplicate one. I found it's easier. So if you grab this, you can bend it up. So we want this rocket to go straight up. So I'm just going to make it go up straight. And you can add additional nodes on this, but basically we just want this rocket to go straight up. So you see how if I grab it here, there's these controls, but I'm actually shifting the, the spline nodes. But if I come over here on this control, I'm moving the whole the whole thing. So let's say I want to shift this, I'm kind of losing my perspective. But just get in here and play around with the spline. It's a good, see I just messed up there. Because I want this to be, I want the rocket just to go straight up. So if I click on this node, then I can drag from it. And so they're just kind of tricky to get familiar with. And then there's these rods here that can turn it. If you got to click on each one, it jumps it up. And if you hold down Alt, this is where, if you just click on this ball and hold down Alt, you can kind of drag. Um, see how I'm turning it there? So it just takes practice getting used to. So let's say I want, I just want it to go up straight, click on this node, and now I can add another node. It's They're just tricky, is all I can say. But I just need a straight spline. So just get in there, play around with it, and it's goofy. <laughs> okay, so let's jump back down on the missile here. I just hit. So we have a spline set up there. If we hit play now, we got a spline. Nothing happens, see? Let's go back on the missile. And let's, now that we have a spline set up, we'll put spline. And we hit play, and we notice nothing happens. What we have to do next is go into world settings and switch to BP game mode. And now watch what happens when I hit play. This interface pops up. And then I can turn on the engine. Wow. And I hit movement, it's going to take off. There it goes. And that's it. The one thing I did notice is that I don't have control. If I hit play, this interface pops up, right? But then I don't have control of, I can't see, I can't move around. What I realized is, what I had to do was come in here and switch my, it's my HUD, to this, right? So I hit play, now I can move around, but now I don't have those controls. So what I realized we could do and this is just my hack, you can figure out your own on this. But if we come back into the, we want to go back into the projectile here. Let's go into this showcase blueprint here. And I know these are, these are the controls here, right here, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, that turns on the engine. So I'm going to delete that. And then I'm going to go keyboard press one so one will turn on the engine and I'm going to delete this and keyboard two will turn on the movement but I'm going to have to set it to active is active to activate it and then the only other thing I need to do is just enable that keyboard press so I'm just going to drag off here and go enable input and then I just have to go get the player controller and we'll just plug this in like that and we'll compile and save now if we close out of this now if I go back in here and I hit play nothing's happening but I click onto this the game I can move around now I can see right so look, if I hit one, I start the engine, and two, there goes the rocket. But now I can, <laughs> but now at least I can look at it. So now I've hit escape, and I notice that thing is really jamming, and maybe it's just a little too much for me in the morning like that. 
So if we come down to its controls, which I thought I saw it down here somewhere. I thought we had the, um, oh, because I'm on world settings. Oh, we can slow this down. So let's try slowing it down. Way down. Let's hit play, do it again. Go one. Oh, it's even faster, sorry. Okay, so it's the other way. So let's go higher. Hit play. Let's start the engine and then go. And there it goes in kind of slow motion. But at least we can track it and hopefully this will get you in the ballpark of playing around with things. So if you have any other tips or tricks you'd like to share, please feel free to share them. And I will talk to you next time.